um, have joined us uh, in good time. Maybe we'll get one or two others, and obviously we are going to record today's webinar um, for, uh, for, for use for those that, that weren't able to make, uh, make it today. So um, paperless post is the topic of, of today's webinar, and this is uh, um, uh, one of a series of webinars we've been running during the course of, of this week. Uh, if, you, if you missed them or, or want to uh, uh, get an update, uh, earlier in the week, we've been running webinars on, on court bundling, on outsource typing, outsource cashiering, uh, legal forms integration, uh, and faster payments, all things that are offered by, by, by Quill, um, either directly or in integration, in partnership with a number of uh, other suppliers, as indeed is our, our, our post offering today. So the agenda for today, if we could move to the next slide, please. Um, so we're going to tell you a bit about um, Quill Post, how it works, the benefits of the digital mailroom, uh, particularly pertinent in the in, in the pandemic, um, how you can manage your uh, practice mail, best practices in terms of how to use it. And, and of course, everybody always wants to know how much this is going to cost. Uh, so we will share with you uh, costs and, and, and how to get uh, started. Um, so we just flick on to the next uh, slide, please. Now, I think we, we have a small um, uh, number of you here today, um, uh, and I just see uh, Hannah has just joined us. So if you do want to come off mute at any time, please, please do so. Uh, feel free to um, ask questions during the webinar uh, as we have a small group or pop them into the chat, whichever you uh, prefer. Uh, uh, if you are using the chat, I'm sure uh, with two years now of um, in and out of lockdown, you all know how to use a webinar chat box. Um, but uh, just to remind you, pop, pop a message in the chat. Uh, a colleague of mine is in the background, and uh, uh, if I if I miss a comment in the chat, I'm she will nudge me uh, in this virtual world um, to make sure that I I, I pick it up um, accordingly. So, OK, so just to introduce our, our, ourselves, um, uh, for those of you who don't know me, um, I'm Julian Bryan. I'm Managing Director um, of Quill. Uh, and today I'm joined by uh, Andrew Law. Andrew is the Sales and Marketing Director of Integrity Connect. And uh, Andrew is the brains behind, um, behind Quill Post in terms of uh, what it is um, and, and how it actually works. So my role today is very much to uh, share with you and to sort of top and tail the webinar. Um, and Andrew will give you all the um, gory and exciting uh, details um, about about things uh, in a moment or two. So let's just move on um, to a couple of a, a couple of slides. For those of you that don't know Quill, uh, we we are supporting about 750 law firms. Um, our core product, if you like, is our um, legal practice management software, supported by case management, supported by practice management, and our outsourcing portfolio of, of services. Um, the main one being our cashiering service, but also supported with with typing, uh, with now with the virtual post room. Um, and also integration with, with products like forms and uh, bundles for those of you that need bundles for for court purposes, uh, etc. So, so why Quill Post? If we could just flick over uh, to another slide. Um, I mean, I think the the benefits are fairly um, obvious to most of us. But just to, to remind ourselves, and I think this will come re be reflected in 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 Andrew's uh, part of the talk. But lower overheads. Uh, in terms of what you're replacing in terms of uh, salary cost, stationery, printing, ink, um, and all that space and, and mucky mm -hmm. stuff that uh, gets associated with, um, uh, with, with, with post. Uh, of course, you're doing your bit for the environment um, uh, by moving to a, to a paperless world. Uh, and in, in the event of uh, office unavailability, or maybe you're, you're, you're working in a very, very virtual uh, environment and want to stay working in a virtual environment, uh, business continuity continues because the post room is still occupied, whether you're at home or whether you have a, a physical office. We've, we've put together a bit of a video um, which sort of shows you uh, how it works. And if my my colleague can play the away the video, how it's going to happen. 
can be By outdated, way. error prone, and labor intensive. What better way to future proof your business and embrace digital transformation than with a digital post room? Quill Post is the modern way of managing your inbound and outbound posts. It drastically reduces costs, simplifies your physical post process, and speeds up those all important client communications. In a world of hybrid working, Quill Post is a simple but effective solution to tackling bulky paper posts so your team can truly work from anywhere. Here's how it works. You simply redirect your incoming post to our processing centre where it's opened, scanned and processed using the latest document scanning and capture technology. Our system will categorise the post based on the addressee, business name or other keywords contained in the image and we will even scan the envelopes. This mail is then delivered to the individual, team or department simply and securely through our encrypted mail delivery portal. Our service is fast, secure, scalable and above all affordable. You can even have your physical post be delivered back to your offices every week so you can keep, shred or securely store hard copies. And what if you want to send post out? It's even simpler. Just go to print, select the quill post printer choosing the postage class and attach any enclosures. All this is then sent electronically to our post room where it's printed, enclosed, sorted and delivered straight into the Royal Mail postal network the same day. Best of all, postage costs are significantly less than what traditional franking machines or mail rooms would charge. Outsourcing your post to Quill is the modern solution to today's remote working challenges, where having a physical post tied to a geographic location just doesn't make sense anymore. Turn to Quill Post to not only help your employees work from anywhere, but also respond faster, increase their productivity, and improve client satisfaction. That's a win-win. Isn't it time to modernize your post room to meet your business needs? For more information, visit www.quill.co.uk forward slash post. Traditional post rooms can Okay, so good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Um, so there's a little bit, bit of a, a background video to give you sort of the headlines of, of what Quill Post is about. And as we say, feel free to any questions you have to please, please do ask. What I was going to do now is just talk you through a little bit more detail about um, how you get started with Quill Post um, and how the how the process works. Um, we basically will be there to guide you through it the whole way through. We have an implement implementation team that are well versed in, in setting up clients on the in the virtual post room. Um, it's probably worth stressing at this point, Integrity, we're a, a secure mailing provider to, to local government, to, to legal practices, pharmaceutical. You know, we're very well used to dealing with highly regulated markets. We operate on a highly secure site um, just outside of Bath in the West Country. Um, mail is our business. You know, we, we process millions of packs every week. So you're in safe hands in terms of both data protection, data handling and in terms of postal provision. There are with the um, the setup for Quill Post, um, there's a couple of things that you would need to do to work with us. The Royal Mail redirection, again, this is a something that you have to request um, from Royal Mail to have your post redirected to a PO box number that we would give you. That enables the post then to be delivered into us rather than having to come to your office and then be re redirected back to us. Our project team would then work with you to set up what we call work streams. So that's when letters come in, who do we need to contact to let you know that you've got new mail? So it might be um, conveyancing team, for example, might, there might be a work stream for conveyancing where conveyancing documents come in, we scan them, we allocate them to that particular group, and then that group receives the emails to say there's new documents in there. We go through a testing process with you, so we would um, you know, we'd look, for example, documents of the type of work you're receiving, and go through that testing process, testing that the emails are coming through to you, that you're able to log into the secure portal where the mail's kept, and then when you're ready, we press the go live button. To give you an idea, the whole sort of start to finish from saying, yes, we're really interested in doing this to actually getting it up and running is between two to three weeks. So that's probably about a week of that time is waiting for Royal Mail to uh, agree to do your redirection for you. But then the rest of it is just going through it and uh, doing the testing process and within three weeks you'll be up and running. 
Do you want to move on to the next slide, please? <coughs> so what actually happens when you redirect your post to us? So it comes into our secure mail facility. Um, we have high end scanning machines that actually open the post, read the address information, which then identifies what work stream it needs to drop into. It's scanned within an hour of getting into us. So again, you're not losing anything really over over and above what you'd be having if it was coming into your existing office post stream, you know, if anything, possibly even quicker. Um, once it's scanned, a notification email gets sent to the work stream owner or the work stream group to say they've got new mail arriving. Um, that immediately gives you access to an electronic copy of the document, so you can then choose to do with that what you need to do. You can either forward it to a colleague, you can print it, you can archive it, whatever you need to do. With the hard copies, obviously a lot of the legal work we do, we are receiving sort of what we class as cherished documents. So it, it could be sort of legal documents, it could be wills, it could be um, conveyance and titles. With those, what we do is we then collate all those together for that particular client. Um, and we then securely carry them to your offices, you know, again to a, a designated contact point so that you can then. Redirect those as you need to, whether they need to be returned to the client, whether they need to be stored. So you're not losing your post. All that we're taking over is the, if you like, the, the opening and distribution of the mail um, at first point. So we're finding particularly with lockdown and with the growth of agile working, it's really taking pressure off. Um, staff time in the sense that nobody has not happening to go into an office to open post redirect it. So it's a say a straightforward process. It, it's developed this idea, this concept of the virtual post room. It's, it's taken off incredibly well over the last two years. We could move on a slide, please. So what what do you actually get when you get post? So you'd get an email notification that would look something like this. So this is just to really give people a sense of how does it work in, in reality. You get a center an email. You click on the link within the email and it takes you through to a secure web portal. So again, this is all wrapped up under the auspices of ISO 27001, the data security protocols that we operate under. So again, you will only have access to your post. Everything is firewalled off by clients, so you know, you're never going to see another client. Another client's never going to see your work. So you click the notification email, it takes you through to a web portal. If we can move on a slide. And again, the web portal it's a very straightforward portal. You've got the option to view either thumbnails of documents or you can view lists of documents and you'll have a list of, of your documents there for you to view. Um, and within that you can search um, you know, by by document date. So if you're looking for a document that was we actually emailed you a couple of days ago, you can if you haven't actually archived it or moved it, you can search by document category if you need to. So again, you've got real flexibility of, of the way you access data once it's put into the archive. We can move on another slide, please. Um, and then you actually literally get an electronic scan of your of your document. So you've got a physical copy, sorry, a physical, you've got an electronic copy of your document, you know, the physical version scanned in high resolution, um, which you can zoom in on. And at this point, you can choose your options as what do you want to do with your document? Are you going to archive it onto your systems? Do you need to forward it to a colleague? You know, Maybe relevant to somebody else in the organization as well. And you've, you've got the facility to to file documents within the portal as well. So it, it's a very straightforward, very simple process. Um, it's just taking away that physical uplift of mail into your own organization and giving you back that scanned copy uh, at speed in a secure environment. We can move on another slide. Um, the good news is the, the setup costs for doing this are, are relatively low. We're talking sort of two zeros, not three zeros or more. It's um, and it's very much based uh, around the inbound mail. There's a, a, a setup depending on how many work streams you need. Um, and then with the outbound, it's again, once we've done the setup, which is installing a print driver. So you would need to engage with your, your IT provider, IT team just to install an extra printer onto your network. That then gives you access to the, the Quill Post outbound mail. And that's very much on a paper usage basis. So if you send one letter, 20 letters, 50 letters, you will only pay for the post you send out. There's a small monthly fee to, to effectively access the license, but we've got clients that may be sending out two or three letters a day. We have other clients that might be doing a mail merge and sending out 20 or 30 documents at one go. Um, the good news is because we mail literally millions of documents every month, we are able to access um, vastly superior postal discounting for raw mail than than a franking machine or a business user can. So you're paying around about half the postage costs that you'd be currently paying through a franking machine. And as well as uh, as Julian pointed out at the start, 
again, it's time it's time consuming. You know, we are experts in print. You're experts in legal. You know, we don't try and help people sell their houses. Why would you want to try and print and mail things? It's it's not your core business. It's not where your staff can be best deployed. So we take on that process for you. Again, everything's produced in a highly secure environment. Everything's barcoded and, and, and secure. So we have processes and protocols in place to ensure the mail goes out exactly as you require it to. And it's all anything received today up till five o'clock will be in the post tomorrow um, and it will be all mail sorted and mail marked and put into the Royal Mail Processing System, which usually takes about a day out of the postal delivery cycle. So, so without getting into sort of enormous detail around either area, just wanted to give you an idea of how relatively straightforward it is to get set up. Um, there is very little commitment from your side. You can sort of test the system, make sure it's working for you um, and you're not tied into a long term license or, or contract. We can move on a, another slide. So why do people adopt a digital mail room? I think if we look at the slide, I mean, I think certainly you'll find if you've had any stresses in terms of accessing office space or having people having to go in to pick up mail, you're going to get a much quicker and improved customer experience. You know, within an hour of us receiving the post, you'll have your electronic copy of it. It's a great way to ensure business continuity. Um, you know, we operate 24 hours a day, five days a week. Um, so we're we're on standby to pick up post and process it you know, whenever you need us to. Um, as I touched on already, yeah, it's a safe and secure. You know, as an as an organisation, we're working with you know, highly regulatory and compliant organisations to to process their data for them. We touched on this already. Low, much lower overheads um, in terms of both your inbound staff costs for managing post room, but also much lower overheads and, and costs in sending out mail. And again, the beauty of, of Quill Post is it's absolutely perfect for remote working. As long as you've got access to an internet connection, you can pick up your mail, you can post out your mail through the Quill Post driver. I think that that's a, a very brief overview of um, what the service is. Um, I think, Julian, you've got... Uh, we had our, our first client was um, Access Legal, wasn't it? Who I think have uh, real advocates of the service. Exactly, exactly, Andrew. And, and um, uh, I know Access Professional, um, as a law firm, would be very, very happy to talk to anybody else that, that, that wants to um, uh, sort of share or understand their own experiences. Um, uh, this firm, um, for, for reasons in terms of the areas of, of law that they work in, uh, needed to uh, ha have a lot of uh, physical post um and needed to keep going uh during during lockdown and uh it came to us saying we need some we need some help uh how can you quill help us and and we we've been able to put uh to to, to put in a solution uh for them with, with, with the help of andrew uh and help and hence we have we have the solution up and up and running so so they are a great advocate and, and a great um i feel like ambassador for for what we've achieved so uh and there's a great as i say a great great quote there from from richard antipas so if you are um as as we said earlier on in the, at the end of the video if you are interested um very simple email address quillpost at quill.co.uk or have a look at the um uh the website for for more for more information um this is something that more and more firms are are looking at as a as a way of of, of managing uh their their post room and indeed uh quill um, itself is 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 looking to, to to move in this in this direction. So I think really um, a very brief um, uh, overview of of what's happening uh, with Quill Post. Is there anybody? I mean, everyone's on mute. If you want to come off mute, you're more than welcome to. If, if anyone has any questions, I see we've got a question from Sean um, asking about um, does the does the post get sorted by fee earner? Um, so I can pick that up. So basically, the way we we set up a user is by identifying um, ways to actually tell who the post is for. So within the address field, um, if you said to us, you know, we've got, I think with, with Access is a good example of that, we've got three different fee earners get, get separate postal streams. So we identify um, the department that they're in and we then direct the post to their email addresses. So yes, it's perfectly feasible to get it set up as long as there's a, a clear way of identifying from the, the address information that's put onto the letter or something within the document that tells us it's for a particular individual that we can then direct that work stream towards them. Okay, perfect. Hannah's got a hand up. Um, 
how how easy how how linked is the post portal to to actually quill because at, at the moment we scan all our all that we, we're paperless we scan one of the girls scans all our, our posts it's then sent into her email box um from um our 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 scanner and then she's got to upload it to quill but i wasn't just sure how the the virtual mailbox is linked to quill if it if at all because we use bund we use the bundle docs um integration as well and obviously that bundle docs just feeds from from quill so there's no downloading and uploading i didn't know whether on the portal whether we can save straight from the mail portal to quill or whether we've got to download to our machines and then upload to quill you Sorry, could have a long-winded explanation no i know i know what you're i know i know what you're saying and when i saw your name pop up by uh, on the in the thing i thought i know the question that hannah's going to ask so um <laughs> so so hannah it is broadly at the moment at least it is it is broadly on a similar vein to your scanner yeah um uh, so they're going to come in. You can and you could probably drag them across to to the docs hub, uh, but it's not as it's not it's not quite like the bun the um, the bundle docs um, in integration. So you'd have to drag them. You'd have to you have to get them from. They, they're going to come in as an email attachment. Um, you could once you've got that as an email attachment. If you've got our um, our, our docs hub integration, you could then attach that email to the relevant case and up you go. You don't, you don't actually need to download the document uh, mm. to your desktop. You would simply use the add-in within Outlook to assign it to ah, the yeah, relevant so could, case. Sorry, that's my that's my misunderstanding. I thought it would be like in a portal, but we actually get them by an email. You get them by email as well, don't you, Andrew? You get an email to tell you to log into the portal, just to clarify. Oh, I beg that. your pardon. Oh, ah, yeah, sorry. We, right, don't, right, right, right. we don't send documents through email. That would be kind of a pretty major breach. Um, yes, it would be. It would with be. Yeah. Some of the information and then no, they are uploaded to a secure portal. From that secure portal, you could then save to um, the Quill doc system. But you would Please. need to, in, the, you, in the same way, it, it would sit there as a PDF, so you'd need, you would need to download it from the portal to, to put it on. Yes, you would. It is. So it and then it'd be uploading to Quill. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Is there any other questions? How secure is the operation? We're getting a question on. So it's been touched on, but do you want to sort of remind everybody about that, Andrew? Yeah. So I mean, just to to confirm, basically, the the site we operate from is is independently audited um, against ISO twenty seven thousand and one, which is a, is a fairly robust data security standard. Um, we also operate to the government Cyber Essentials Plus approved scheme as well, which which basically means that um, we have to pass quite rigorous third party audits as around both site security, around data security. Um, you know, including things like penetration testing of our systems to ensure that you know people can't break through either physically or through the firewalls and down to the level of actually having all staff have to be DVS checked um, as well as a number of financial and legal checks that are taken on, on before people are allowed into the, the secure mailing areas. Um, and as I say, you know, we are a government approved supplier you know, within the organisation. We're printing um, UK visas, births and deaths and marriages certificates. So we're kind of operating at a fairly high level of data security. Someone else said, Nils also asked who actually opens the post. I think you've almost implied that in that last answer. Is there was anything further you want to say about that? Yeah, it's it's a question that came up. Um, I think when we actually first started with Access, there was a sort of concern about who actually who's going to be opening and reading the post. Well, like, I can assure you, the operation, um, the way it works, we're using high-speed automated scanners that uh, that do most of the legwork, including actually physically opening the envelopes. Um, and then reading the the individual documents inside them and the speed they're going at operators yes they have physical view of the documents going through the machines but uh, they've they've got no capability to sit there and read them you know they don't have the time to do that at the, the rate the machine is going at but uh, it, it's it's, it's an environment where they're used to handling anything from payroll data through to um you know nhs healthcare sort of responses and it, it's you know for us, it's just every day that's we're dealing with highly sensitive data. People, the staff are trained to, and, and it's mechanised as much as possible as well. It's come come a long way since we had to have two one or two partners opening the post every day. 
Yes, yeah, yeah. and obviously from a, from a fee earning point of view, they're they're far better off not opening the post and um, you know doing something much more productive, aren't they? Absolutely. Yeah, so a couple of questions. So, so what if there's kind of non-standard size documents? You know, you get notes and stuff like that posted to you by clients in handwriting. Um, are those, you know, those cause any problems? No, I mean, basically, we can we can manage anything handwritten. It will be will be scanned and cleaned. You know, so what we can do is we we the software intelligently sort of tidies things up. The maximum size of a piece of paper we can put through the scanner is an A3 sheet. So obviously anything over and above that we'd, we'd agree sort of business rules with you and this is all part of this implementation process about how do you want to deal with certain things that fall outside of the norms but certainly you might get you know a, a little scrap of lined paper coming in with some, some handwritten scribbles on it and um, that will get scanned and as long as again as long as there's the address information the address we know who to direct it to um, and again what we generally set up with clients is a bit of a almost like the unknown bucket. So we've got work that has come in for you as a client. We're not quite sure which work stream it drops into. So we'd, we'd have a general work stream as well that we'd send things to. So you can kind of identify, you'll be best placed to identify who that, that that particular document needs to go to if it's not clear from the initial content of it, which yeah. say a handwritten note might well be the case if it's. Uh... And, and, and stuff like, uh, uh... CD or DVD or USB stick even I got the last week which is a, a I haven't had one of them for a while that, that would what just be forwarded automatically uh, yeah you? so anything anything like that which is a, a non-scannable item um you know would get opened and recognized as being a non-scannable item so that would go into your um weekly returns box so you know, we'd, we'd actually physically box up everything that that comes back in that week and then send it to you by courier and then so if if we were set up, for example, to well, most of our posts we're happy for you to just destroy, but are we able to select individual items as they come in and say, well, actually, we'll have that? Yeah, and if if that's a requirement, then we 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 don't currently have that with anybody, but in principle, it's it's perfectly feasible. You know, as part of the the portal, you would have the option. You could have the option there to say, you know, keep or delete. Yeah. Okay. And again, we have secure shredding on site, so all documents are shredded securely and they're disposed of. So, yeah, we can do that. Okay. Any any other questions from anybody? This is your chance to to get to to Andrew, who knows all the detail. Uh, you're all very welcome to contact outside as well if something comes up to you. Comes up yeah, exactly. With, with yeah, to just we, we can we can put you. Um, yeah, appreciate that. Put you in direct Friday contact. Time, the, the brains may not be quite as fired up as they were on Monday morning. <laughs> so, so going back to my early question, because my connection dropped down, helpfully. Um, is there any plan to have the post portal working like the bundle dot portal, or is that never something that's never going to be possible? I let me have a go at answering that, um, Hannah. I mean, yes, it is. I mean, that it is the it is our desire, and all these things are um, like all these. It, it's a question of um, um, uh, what's the phrase I'm looking for. Um, you know, what what comes first, if you like. So 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 we're looking for um, we're looking for appetite um, from from clients to to see what the appetite is to use the service. And obviously, the more traction we get with it, the more we will uh, put investment into uh, tightening that level of that level of integration. And uh, we have other if you like, there are well, there are other um, document feeds that we would that we would like to have uh, more automated, um, and I think in due course that will happen. But but ask me whether that's going to be um, you know in March this year or or next year. I, I'm not going to put a not going to yeah. put a timeline on it. Yeah, I mean I think just to to reiterate on that as well that this is our own software system. It's been built by our in-house development team, so it, it's perfectly feasible to roadmap in. Um, future developments with Quill, as as, as yep. Julian says, if if the appetite's there from your from clients, then that's something we can look to link in yep. uh, at a later date. So it, it's completely within our gift to do it, as you say. If there's yeah. the the market demand for it. How important is that to you, Hannah? Um, 
it 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 makes it a lot more streamlined so it's saving time in the office if um i i had bundle doc before um will got the link with bundle docs um <coughs> but it is made it a lot quicker and easier and it's and, and it's more secure having it, it it straight uploaded to to bundle docs and the, the post would work in the same way mm, mm, mm. Okay, well, we could certainly you know, it's just, have. It's just, it's just taking some of the man hours out of it. Yeah, the, be the beauty of the bundle docs integration is that it's it's reading from Quill's docs hub to yeah. create that bundle. Um, obviously, what we're doing here with with Andrew is it's going the other way, yeah. which is which is a little bit a little bit more more work to do. Um, so but you, you're not, you're not, you, the technology behind it isn't is, is, isn't my fault. <laughs> No, 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 no. That's fine. That's fine. Sure. The um, uh, what was I going to say? The uh, there's just more work to understand, and and you're not the first person to ask for it, and and it's an obvious it's an obvious next step. Uh, we just need to make sure that we've got enough traction to to to, to make to make that investment. Yeah, to put the to put the um efforts into it. Yeah, but it, yeah, it, exactly. It, I can I can see the advantages generally, but from a from a sort of staff cost wise. There's still going to be quite a bit for the, you know, the team to do in the in in the office. Uh, whereas if it's the, the straight in it linking in in into Quill, it, it would free up a significant amount of time for you know for our legal assistants who deal with our yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean that is a, that is a very fair point. Okay, well, unless um, there's anything else in in here you've you've got the 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 intro and the and the idea of what we, we've got here we will share um this video with your recording of this webinar with you and the video um, after today and also to those that, that didn't make um today and please get in touch if you want to pick it up and um and have a go and and andrew i know will be uh, only too happy to help absolutely yeah thank you all for yeah. your time appreciate it yeah thanks for coming Bye, thanks. Bye. Cheers, folks. Bye. 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 Bye.